Hey guys, welcome back to Filmspire. Today we'll talk about the most nauseating moments on Dr. Pimple Popper. Let's head into it. Number 4. The Juicy Million Sis. I'm trying to make a little nick on this so that we can extract that. It's like a little millial cyst is exactly the case. One of the many things we love about Dr. Pimple Popper is her deep repository of pimple-related puns. Take for example, the short work of genius she slapped on her latest Instagram video. I got my mind on a million, and a million on my mind. Legendary. In a new Instagram video posted Thursday, Dr. Sandra Lee treats a patient with a juicy milium cyst next to his eye. A milium cyst is a small white bump that forms when keratin, a protein found in our hair and nails, gets trapped beneath the skin. They often appear in groups and tend to be found on the nose and cheeks. In the video, Lee pokes into the milium cyst with a metal tool and then squeezes out the white gunk inside. The milium cyst certainly isn't the biggest thing we've seen Lee pop, but we gotta say, it does pack a surprising amount of white goo. Under my breath, I whisper, yes, 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 with every squeeze. One commenter wrote, there's something wrong with me. Number 3. Cookie Dough <laughs> Then people can hear you, but they don't know what, who, who you are or anything. In her latest Instagram clip, Dr. Pimple Popper went back to basics, revealing a close-up of a classic cyst. Revealing a close-up of a classic cyst draining procedure. This clip, unlike those posted earlier in the week, doesn't offer too much in way of context, opening with Dr. P using her scissors to widen the incision and prepare it to be drained. Then she removes immediately into giving it a tight squeeze. Often, dermatologists will follow this step with a sac removal, which helps prevent the cyst from returning. Once pinched, what emerges is a thick, almost cookie dough-like discharge, which is likely a form of sebum, a combination of oil and dead skin cells that builds up underneath a blood gland. According to the Cleveland Clinic, the substance will usually appear grayish-white and cheese-like and will have a foul smell. So if nothing else, you might want to be thankful that you're watching this procedure, well, pretty much anywhere but live in person. Number 2. A Buttery Steatocystoma Years. Sometimes when a cyst appears, dermatologists advise patients to simply wait it out. Often, they'll go away on their own. But in her latest Instagram video, Dr. P finds one patient for whom that definitely wasn't the case. As the clip begins, Dr. Lee asks the man how long she's been dealing with what appears to be a large steatocystoma, and the man replies that he's been living with the growth for the better part of 20 years. Thankfully for him, that changed quickly. During his visit, you're going to be sad to see it go. Lee just before making quick work of the steatocystoma, draining it with a hard pinch and revealing, as she puts it, a pretty clarified butter kind of thing. Steatocystomas, often referred to in the context of a steatocystoma multiplex, are typically small benign lumps that are filled with sebum, a yellowish oily substance that helps lubricate the hair, skin, and nails. In the clip, Dr. Lee also spends some time removing the cyst sac wall, a step that will help lower the risk of the cyst returning. Number 1. A pair of lipomas. I'm just gonna squeeze you here, okay? Yeah. Nothing should hurt. Are you wincing because I'm hurting you? In her newest Instagram video, Dr. Pimple Popper removes a pair of lipoma nuggets from a patient's body. In the clip, Lee uses the scalpel to make a small incision before digging in to cut the growths free with her tweezers and surgical scissors. Lipomas are benign fatty tumors that tend to be situated between the skin and the underlying layer of muscle. Lipomas are also relatively common, affecting as many as 3 million people every year and mostly cropping up among middle-aged adults. While lipomas Lipomas don't always require a dermatologist like Dr. Lee to intervene. Some people simply choose to live with them. Many off many opt for the procedure when they suddenly grow in size or become otherwise burdensome. And in this case, Dr. Lee manages to free them with no more than a couple of quick squeezes. Another satisfied patient. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.